Tifa was Cloud's neighbor. Although they were neighbor, they were not really close. Her mother died when she was 8 years old. As a child, she believed she can see her mother when she crossed Mount Nebal. Tifa plans to cross the mountain alone, however, Cloud followed him. An accident happened and Tifa was injured and fell into a coma. The townsfolk blamed Cloud and forbade him from approaching Tifa anymore. When Tifa woke from the coma, Cloud has been planning to join the soldier. He idolizes Sephiroth and wanted to be like him. Cloud promises Tifa that he would protect her. However, Cloud was not able to join the soldier. He only become a lowly infantryman. Tifa was trained by Zangan. Zangan is the residential martial arts master that resides in Nebelheim and the one who taught limit breaks to her, including her final limit break, which is Final Heaven. Zephyroth, Zack, and Cloud as an infantryman goes to Nibelheim to investigate a faulty Mako reactor. This is also the time Sephiroth was made aware of who Mother is and drove him insane. Sephiroth burned the town and killed all the townspeople who wanted to escape. Tifa's father has also been killed on that event. Seeing this, Tifa was enraged and expressed her hatred towards Soldier and Sephiroth. Comparing to Sephiroth, Tifa doesn't stand a chance so she was cut down. Zack helped but he was also defeated. Cloud rushes in and took Zack's sword and defeated Sephiroth. Zangan arrived and took Tifa away to Midgar. It is implied that she has no recollection of the journey. Tifa recovered and she joined Avalanche, an eco-terrorist group led by Barrett. She met Cloud and asked him to join their group. She was no recollection of the events that happened in her hometown. Tifa was confused at Cloud since Cloud knows several things about her and she doesn't know about it. She conceals her doubt while trying to figure out Cloud's inconsistent memories. They learned that Shinra found out their group and plans to drop the Sector 7 plate to crush them down once and for all. They rush into Sector 7 and help Barrett defend the pillar. The other three members were killed. Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett were able to escape, however, Shinra captures Aerith. They were able to rescue Aerith who joined their group later on. In Calm, Cloud tells the group how he was deployed to Nibelheim with Sephiroth and how the latter destroyed the town. His version is faulty, but the confused Tifa does not confront him, both to protect him and because she doubts her own recollection. The group arrived at Nibelheim and found that their town has been rebuilt. The villagers did not remember Cloud or Tifa living there. Well, Sephiroth killed all the previous villagers so that explains why no one remembers them. When the group confronts Sephiroth, he manipulates Cloud to think that he was not a real person, rather an experiment made by Professor Hojo with false memories. Cloud falls to this and gave the black materia to Sephiroth. Cloud is found in Medeal, suffering from a Mako overdose. Tifa remains to watch over him, but Cloud is not showing signs of improvement. Ultima Weapon appears and the live stream swallows Medeal. Tifa tries to push the unresponsive Cloud to safety but both fall into the live stream, the wellspring of the planet's life energy. The live stream shows Cloud subconscious to Tifa. This is where she discovers the truth about Nibelheim incident. She learns that Cloud admires her when he was young and left to join Soldier to impress her. She also uncovers that it is Cloud who helped her during the Nibelheim incident. On the final battle inside the livestream, Tifa stayed behind as Cloud descends to face Sephiroth where he wins. Post-Crisis Timeline Cloud and Tifa returns to Midgar. Tifa runs a bar called Seventh Heaven while Cloud runs a delivery service. Barath's daughter, Marlene, was left on their care since Barat went on a journey. Initially, they are happy. However, Cloud's secrecy and growing depression made them apart. Apparently, Cloud is still guilty as to what happened with his friends, Zack and Aerith. Cloud brings Denzel, a boy from Midgar Ruins whose family was caught in the blast. Tifa takes care of the boy shortly after Cloud leaves again. Advent Children Timeline Denzel has been infected with Geostigma disease. Unbeknownst to them, Cloud also has it, hence he was trying to find a cure for the said disease without telling Tifa, also trying to find redemption. Tifa and Marlin visited the church where it was still standing, however one of the remnants named Laws attacked Tifa and asked for Mother or Genova's head. 
Unaware of the location of Genova, Tiva had no choice but to keep Marlene safe and battle laws. However, she loses. Cloud usually visits the church. Upon visiting, he sees Tifa on the ground unconscious. He was about to help Tifa when the pain from his left hand caused by Geo's stigma stops him. Reno and Rude was able to bring them back to the seventh heaven where Tifa recovers. Cloud was able to wake up early and brought Marlene back. Tifa waking up goes to the center of the city and found Denzel, mind controlled by the remnants. She tries to save Denzel but was knocked over by Bahamut's son. When the fighting was over, she later appeared in the church with Denzel to heal his geo stigma. Dirge of Cerberus Timeline One year later, during Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII, Tifa appears during the ground assault on Midgar, leading the tanks with Barrett and Cloud in the battle against a group known as Deep Ground. She appears when the gang is cheering on Vincent when he is saving the world. So that's all I can gather for Tifa Lockhart. Make sure to check top 10 facts about Tifa on the next video and be sure to check the other Who Wiz video as well. So thank you for watching and once again, you rock.